Hey, Laura, are you there? I just wanted to remind you that we are going to get married tomorrow. You do know that, don't you? So anyways, I just wanted to take this opportunity to say that since you and I are about to be marrying each other, I really think that you should give me just a bit more money every single month. I mean, I know that you're already giving me a bit of money for the time being, but it's never enough. I always end up spending it all, and so I need more. But, Dale, I think that I'm already giving you a lot of money at this point, aren't I? I mean, just why is it that you need so much money from me anyways? If you really are needing a bit more cash, then why don't you go start working a part-time job or something like that? After all, it isn't like you don't have enough time to work. I know your schedule, and you could certainly manage it, I'd assume. Excuse me? You're telling me that I should go out and find a job? Are you kidding me? I'll have you know that I already work hard right now, thank you very much. Dale, please, you and I both know that when you tell me that you're going to work, all that really means is that you're going to the casino. I just wish that you could find a normal job with a consistent salary. I think you would enjoy that a lot more than winning and losing all day on cards. You have no idea how it is to do what I do. Well, excuse me if I don't earn enough money for playing cards to make you happy, Laura. But it's not like I'm not doing other work around the house. Aren't I taking care of basically everything around here? I do all the cleaning, I do all the vacuuming, I cook all the food. You basically have a house husband, and yet you don't seem grateful for all that work. That's not true. I really am grateful for all that you do, and I really appreciate all that you do around the house for us. Well, if you were really appreciative of what I do for us around here, then maybe you should start to pay me for all the work that I do. Either way, I need more money, and I need it now. Dale, I really respect where you're coming from, and I can understand wanting to get paid for the work that you're doing. But let's not forget that I am the one paying for so much of what we already have. I mean, take food, for example. Not only do I buy all the groceries that you use to cook, but you don't even cook every day. In fact, I would say that most nights we end up ordering out instead and that I always end up paying for it. As for the cleaning, well, I think that we can both say you don't always do the best job and, well, you could be a little more careful the next time you clean. I really can't believe that you're complaining to me about these things right now. I mean, you really don't know how lucky you have it. Do you have any idea just how grateful you should be that someone like me is with you? Person in a wheelchair? You have no idea how difficult that makes things for me. So I really don't understand where you get off trying to ask me to do even more for you than I'm already doing. But it's not like I'm asking you to do anything for free. After all, I'm literally paying you $1,000 a month for all that you do for me. But all you do is spend that money on booze and gambling, and then you come back to me and say, I don't give you enough. Not only that, but when you are home, all you do is eat snacks and watch TV. Don't you think there's more to life that you could be doing? You have no idea what you're talking about. And I am not going to let you try and tell me how to live. Do you understand me? Besides, are you always at home to be watching what it is that I do? You can't say for sure that all I do is eat and watch TV. Do you even like me, Laura? Of course I like you, Dale, but I just... I know that you could be doing more than this, and I just want what's best for you. You're telling me that I should learn to stand on my own two legs while you're stuck in a chair? Give me a break. You do realize that even when we go out, I'm still always watching out for you, don't you? You have no idea what it's like to be dating someone in a wheelchair when you're the normal person. You don't know what it is that I have to go through. Dale, I'm not trying to say that this has been easy on you, okay? Well, then why are you always acting this way towards me? Why are you being so selfish? Don't you get that you have a normal person like me helping out someone like you? I think I've already gone above and beyond what anyone else would expect of me. I wouldn't have any of these problems if I was dating another normal person. 
Dale, why are you talking like this? Are you telling me that you regret getting engaged to me? Why wait until now to tell me about all of this? I'm sorry, Dale, but I think I'm going to need some time to think. Wait. No, that's not what I was saying at all. I wasn't saying that I don't want to marry you. I just want you to think about how I feel a little more. Tell me, Dale, just what kinds of people have you dated before me? Have they all been normal people, as you like to call them? No, that isn't true. There was one girl I was dating, and she was deaf, so what do you think of that? Oh, really? You were dating a deaf girl? Didn't know that. And just what was the reason for your breaking up? You think I remember why I broke up with some ex from so long ago? Come on. Why are you even bringing up old relationships of mine? Look, I think that we're getting away from the whole point of why I started this conversation from you. I need more money from you. Do you understand? You know, I've been pretending not to notice this whole time, but you've already been getting extra money from me. The money that I forget on my desk when I go out, the money that I actually put in my desk. I know that you've taken that money and pocketed it for yourself. In fact, I'm pretty sure that you've even started taking money right from my wallet as well. Oh, I see. So you finally noticed what I've been doing this whole time, is that right? <laughs> well, I hope that you understand that you're at fault for that. When I need money and you don't give it to me, what am I supposed to do? Besides, it's not my fault if you're always dropping money everywhere and forgetting all about it. Would you rather the money just got lost and never used? Except that I don't drop money everywhere, like you're saying, Dale. I put money down to be used for later. And I'll have you know that I really don't appreciate you snooping through my things looking for spare cash to take for yourself. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I can try and stop doing that from here on out. But after all, it's not like you don't have savings of your own, right? Savings? And just why do you want to know about how much money I have saved away? Well, I mean, we're about to get married, aren't we? I think it's only natural that I want to make sure that my wife has some money put away so i was just checking to make sure that you did by the way would you mind telling me where you stashed it all after all if i'm going to be living off of you i should know where to go for my money so you finally just come out and say it your whole plan is just to live off of me and my savings don't tell me that you were doubting me about how much money i might have no, no, of course not. I really was just checking to make sure that you did have more money. After all, when you and I are married, your money is also going to be my money. Isn't that right? So I just figured that we should have the money talk now, and you could tell me how to access your savings. Wouldn't you agree with me? I understand what you're saying, but the thing is that we're not married yet. And even when we do get married, my own savings would still be my money. Oh, come on, Laura. You're not actually going to be all cheap like that, are you? I really don't know if we can get married if you're going to act this way. I just want to make sure that you have the money that I assume that you do. Can you just show me that you have it? Okay, okay, fine. If you really want to know how much money I have in my savings account, it's sitting at about $800,000. I see. And this is all in a safe or something? If it's in a safe, can you tell me the combination? Or is this all in a bank account? If so, where's the card for it? And what's the PIN number? And if you want to go to the bank to access it, you can use the code. And if you take my card, the PIN for it is... Amazing. I feel so much better now that we've been able to talk about all of this. Thanks for understanding, Laura. I knew that he was up to no good. I just knew that I couldn't trust him one bit. And it's just like I feared. Today he was asking about how much money I have. And since we're getting married tomorrow, I bet he was just waiting this whole time to ask me about that. Oh no, it really is just like you were worrying about, isn't it? Are you okay? 
I mean, I would have been feeling depressed after that. If you need anyone, just know that I'm here for you, okay? I don't know what I would do if I found out that my fiancé was this kind of person. Oh, Audrey, thank you so much for worrying about me, but I really do think that I'm going to be okay. But it really does mean so much that you want to be there for me. I'll be honest, though. I've thought that this was the case for a while, and I guess I've prepared myself for it. Anyways, it's been a long, long time since I ever really felt like Dale might be the one for me. Wow, you really seem to have much better perspective on this than I might be able to. But if you think that you're going to be okay, then that's all that really matters to me. After all, I know that when you're ready to cut a man out of your life, that you get all business about it. You act as if you've suddenly found a strange bug on your shirt and flick it off. <laughs> Well, I just didn't think that I would have to be doing something like that with Dale, of all people. But then again, I guess I've never really had all that much luck with guys anyway. Sure, maybe you've dated some not great people in the past, but it sounds to me like Dale really takes the cake for being a total jerk. I don't really think that you could ever do worse than him. But I guess Dale also hasn't realized that he would need to do more work to hold on to you, isn't that right? <laughs> I really don't know about that, but either way now, I'll have to think about what I want to do about this. Well, what I don't understand is why Dale would try and act like this when he's already admitted that he's just going to live off of your money anyway. I mean, he literally said that to you, right? Doesn't he realize that's like leaving a big smoking gun for you to use how you want? Hmm, yeah, I think there are a few ways that I could go about handling this, but... The thing is that even though Dale has said that, he still hasn't taken action to really make his motives known. I'm just waiting for him to slip up in a big way before I finally make my move against him. Well, I guess it's a good thing that you're being so meticulous about that. That's actually what I really admire about you. Once you set your mind on something, it's tough to get you off of it until it's dealt with. <laughs> you like that about me? I feel like I know quite a few people who dislike me for that exact reason. But I'm glad that I have a friend like you to talk to about these sorts of things. Whatever happens, though, be ready for a show tomorrow. Oh, wow. I was hoping that you were going to give me just a little bit more money. But this is way more than even I was expecting to get from you. Guess it really does pay off to be dating such a stupid girl in a wheelchair. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for the money. Have a nice life, you loser. <laughs> Wait, what? Dale, I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Where are you right now? You know that we're engaged to be married, don't you? You mean you still think that you and I are going to be getting married? Don't you get it? I tricked you. Of course we're not getting married. The whole reason I was putting up this act this whole time was all so that I could get you to tell me how to access your money. Wait, so then you're telling me that you don't want to get married to me at all? Of course I don't want to get married to an ugly little cripple like you. I was only using you to get into that safe that you gave me the combination for. You mean that you went to my safe and you're going to open it? That's right. I'm actually just about to open the door and see all of your money that's waiting for me to take it. Oh, <laughs> man, this was so easy. Yeah, well, you have my condolences. I wish you the best, though. Condolences? What in the world are you talking about? If anything, I should be saying that to you. Don't you realize I'm about to rob you blind? How about you finish opening the safe and then finish all your gloating, okay? Wait, what? What the heck is going on here? Is this supposed to be some kind of joke or something? The only thing in the safe are some rotting vegetables. Yep, that sounds about right. I made sure to pack the safe full of vegetables and I suppose they would have started to rot by now. Tell me, did you like the little surprise that I left in there for you now that you've seen it? Surprise? 
You mean to tell me that you knew that in this safe there would only be smelly old vegetables? What's the matter with you? Where's my money? Oh, you mean my money? Because I don't think that you have money, considering the fact that you don't even work. So I don't really know why you thought you were so entitled to my money when you hardly do anything to earn that either. Shut up! I'm not in the mood for these little games of yours. You just tell me where you put your money right this instant. Oh, actually, the debit card for that account may still be in there in the safe if you just dig around with your hands for a little bit. Although I'm pretty sure it's buried quite deep down there, so you'll have to do quite a bit of digging. I can't believe that you're actually making me do this. This is just disgusting. What kind of sick person are you? Ah, I can't find it. I thought you said that it was in here. Where's the card? I can't find it anywhere amongst all these vegetables. Oops, well, I guess I lied to you. Of course I wouldn't leave my bank card in with all of those rotten vegetables. That would be just disgusting. But did you actually think that I left the card in there for you? Were you about elbow deep into the rotting spinach before you realized there was nothing in there? Oh man, I wish that I could have been there to see that. That sounds absolutely hysterical. You lied to me about that card? I can't believe you. You really have a screw loose if you think it's okay to be treating people like this. <laughs> Do you really think that you're in any position to be saying that to me? You just said that you started a fake relationship and even got engaged to me all so that you could try and steal my money. So how about I ask you just what you think you're doing? Because this is a pretty bad way to start a marriage, you know? This isn't a joke, Laura. Did you really actually think that I was going to marry a crippled little loser like you? I won't let you get away with this. You really are just such a piece of trash. Do you even realize that, Dale? And as for not getting away with this, trust me, the feeling is more than mutual. Although I must say that I don't think I've ever been through something quite like this. You've ruined everything. You've made all the time that we spent together mean nothing now. I'm just so disappointed in you. But the games are over, so give me all your money now. <laughs> Do you really think that I'm just going to follow through with that because you told me to? You really need to wake up if you think that this is how the world works. I mean, you lied to me and you think that I'm still going to give you money after this? You have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, you haven't stopped to consider how I feel about all of this. Here I was thinking that I was going to get a ton of money and now I've got nothing. Yeah, well, that really means nothing to me at all, and you're nothing but a con man. Oh, come on. So what if I lied to you? Didn't it feel good to be with me before you figured out the truth? Isn't that worth anything? How would you even figure out that I was doing all of this to begin with, huh? I mean, it really wasn't all that hard to pin down at all. You do realize that in my work as hiring manager, I have to be vigilant for all kinds of liars, right? Not only that, but you all but practically told me of what your plans were. But I guess you thought you'd have more time to get away with them. But you literally told me that you were planning to live off of all my money. And you know that the funny thing is? I would have let you if you didn't go and do this. But now that you've gone and ruined all that we had together, you're not going to get a single cent from me. I don't get how you could do this to me. It doesn't make any sense. I never, ever want to see you again after this. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. I've already called the police, and they should be on their way. Wait, you mean you actually called the cops on me over this? Hold on a second. Why can I hear sirens coming down the street right now? Oh, wow. They even put on the sirens for you. That's gonna make you feel kind of special, right? But then again, I guess you are in the middle of a failed robbery attempt right now, aren't you? But the police know exactly where to go to pick you up, so I wouldn't try to run. You'd only get in more trouble. What's going on? How could you do this to me? I mean, you... You stabbed me in the back! You betrayed me! 
I mean, you were already doing the same thing to me, and besides, it's not like you're not trying to rob me. You literally waited for a time that we would be apart to try and get into my safe and take the money out of it. You even admitted to as much in the very first messages that you sent me today. But I didn't think that you'd go and run to the police about this. You weren't supposed to do that. Why wouldn't I go to the police if someone were trying to rob me? You're doing something bad, so I call the cops. It's pretty simple, really. I imagine that if you were hearing the sirens a few minutes ago, though, they've probably got you surrounded by now. So then, you mean, you really think that I might get arrested for this? I mean, if the cops are there and they're surrounding you, I doubt it's because they want to throw you a surprise party. This isn't funny. I have to get out of here. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to escape from this? You've got to help me, Laura. Haven't I been a good boyfriend to you? You hardly ever did any work around the house, despite always complaining about the hard work that you do. Your whole plan for our relationship was that you would just leech off my money while you wasted it all on alcohol and gambling. And even when I was paying you a little bit of money every single month, you were so ungrateful and said I wasn't giving you enough. So no, I wouldn't say that you were a big boyfriend even in the slightest. But, I mean, I was dating you and you're in a wheelchair. Doesn't that count for anything at all? You have no idea what I've sacrificed not dating someone normal. And that's another thing. You keep calling able-bodied people normal and act like you're some kind of saint for dating a woman in a wheelchair. It's obvious that the whole reason you targeted me for this scam of yours was because you thought that you'd be able to manipulate me. Okay, fine. So what? Yeah, I thought you were going to be an easy mark because you're in a wheelchair. Man, I wish I could have stolen your money. It's not like you would have been able to chase after me. <laughs> I don't get why you don't just step outside the building and turn yourself in. You realize that you're only making things worse for yourself, don't you? I don't care what you think. What do I possibly have to lose now? Besides, I haven't even really done anything when you think about it. All I did was open up a safe that you gave me the combination to, and all I found there was vegetables. Yes, you're right. I suppose the most you could be charged for for this is attempted robbery. But what about the deaf girl you were dating? I know all about what you did to her. Wait, hold on a second. How did you find out about her? Actually, a friend of mine who I told about our situation introduced me to your ex since she had a similar story. We talked and we realized we had both dated the same person and that you were never punished for what you did to her. So while I may not be able to get these charges to stick, I am sure that mine aren't the only ones that you'll be facing. Anyways, I'm sure the police are going to burst in there any minute, so enjoy jail. Wait, but then... Serious? Oh, crap. It's really, really bad. Things weren't supposed to happen this way! After that, Dale tried to leap out the window to escape, but he was on the first floor and the building was already surrounded so he only got in more trouble and was immediately captured my friend audrey took dale's last victim who she had introduced to me down to the precinct to identify dale as the man who had scammed her apparently it was a very similar story where the two of them were about to get married then on the day before their wedding dale disappeared with all of the poor woman's money thankfully dale wasn't able to get that far with me now he's awaiting trial for what he did to the two of us, and I am sure that he is going to get his just desserts soon enough. As for me, although I was in a bit of a shock from my experience and what Dale tried to do, I was just glad that we were able to stop him before he had a chance to escape. I know that it's going to take me a little bit of time to sort out my feelings about all of this, but I am sure that I'll be fine in due time. And as long as I see Dale punished for the way that he tried to take advantage of differently abled women, then I think I will be able to rest easy knowing that he's been taken off the streets. Getting that kind of justice will certainly help me heal from this.